you've always done a really good job of this of coaching how to really like write the a job description that's actually achievable um i think that's such a huge part yeah and and that's such a great point too right i think a lot of people look at job descriptions and actually read job descriptions to make sure that they're going to be a good fit for that role before they apply um but there's also the other side of the spectrum where people just shoot off their resume hoping to get a hit and so um it's it's important to evaluate skill sets and actually train people on how to write job descriptions right like when we look at certain positions that people give to us, we're now looking at them and we're like, okay, they're looking for somebody to have 10 to 15 of these qualifications that might not exist. So we're going to be that person that you can come to and almost have like a consultation with, and we'll let you know, okay, hey, that's probably not feasible right now in this market, especially let's say you're looking for somebody to sit on site in a certain location, right? If we were to open it up to a remote aspect, more candidates are going to be interested right now and more candidates will pop up in the search just um, due to volume of numbers. Uh, and then one thing I like to think about is a lot of people are so set on, okay, I need this person to have all 10 of those qualifications. But if somebody that has eight of them, are they going to do just as well in an interview and in the actual job if they're missing one or two little things that they might be able to be coached on? or they are willing to learn, right? That's something that goes into that interview process and that streamlined process as well, is just making sure that this person has the go-getter mentality that you might be looking for that's willing to learn and wants to learn. Um, and so I think people, when they're hiring, um, will focus too much on a resume and it might not have everything and they'll miss out on quality candidates due to that. Um, so it, it's easy to consult a staffing agency and, and they can help you write a job description or even help you like condense your do job description and, and make it profound. Um, I, I think that's really important to attracting the right talent as well. Yeah, totally. And I, I think about right person versus right skill set. You know, if it's most of the way on paper, it's still worth the conversation because I think about some of the best employees I've ever had. They're, like you said, they have the go-getter mentality and they're focused on learning, but maybe they don't have that perfect recruiting experience or perfect marketing experience. I think about one time um, I was working with a client and it was um, on a, a tougher position. It was a technical position and they wanted somebody with four years of experience in a, like a JavaScript technical library that had only existed for five years and thinking, okay, like let's think about the realistic nature of being able to identify somebody that's been with this technology since the beginning, probably a little bit unlikely. So after we took a pulse in the market, understood really what our landscape looked like is we were able to lessen that skill set requirements from the 10 out of 10 to the 8 out of 10 and then we were able to find somebody like that and they were trained up ended up converting to permanent it went great right so i think it's just almost the the self-reflection of okay what am i realistically within my bandwidth as a hiring manager what am i willing to train on and what do i just not have the bandwidth to train on and if you really think about it like you could save, say you lessen your interview process from nine weeks to four weeks. You could spend those five weeks training your individual to be exactly what you wanted them to be for the longer interview process and find the right person with the right, um, I guess, soft skills for your company. So, so to say, I just, I to keep to your point, I think, you know, being able to look inward and identify what the key true skill sets are versus all the fluff that would be nice is, is an important way to, to get your candidates fast. Yeah, and I think something to add on that too, right? Like if this person doesn't have all the qualifications, they might not be looking for that top level salary requirement as well. So that could be an additional way to reduce hiring costs. Such a good point. I didn't even think of that.